Okay, so I am doing a breakup spell and it's for two people. Um, normally I would have done this in my kitchen, but I have visitors and um, I can't stop, you know, I, I, I have to do this tonight because I told them that I would do it today and, I, and it just has to be done. So excuse um, all the mess that you see here. I am so sorry. Um, but this is a breakup spell, okay? Um, really quick, this is a, a doll that I did, um, that I did on somebody a while back. I worked on this person for four months. The whole, um, inside of the head and the whole body, there's things inside of it, um, there's ingredients and um, I was able to get the person's clothing oops it burned um, but this is just um, I, I have to go bury it and then this is a bat that I will be um, I will doing be doing a spell um, you can use a bat to dominate the person um, or for bad I do I do sell these so if you're interested um, just let me know so anyway so this spell is to make to separate okay you can this spell can be if you want to if someone's bothering you and you need them to go away this is the perfect uh, perfect one or um, to break up so for each, um, so it's for two people. Uh, I, we're, I'm going to work on this for seven days, so it requires seven eggs, okay? So this is for one person and this is for second person. So I put the names of the couple on here and um, each little paper, aside from the names, the dates of birth, and um, a petition. So it's going to go inside of each egg. I went and I hid and took the egg whites out and only kept the yolk. Why? Because the yolk rots. And this is what we want. We want these people, this relationship to rot. Oops, did I put two of them in one? Nope. Okay. Okay, I'm missing one. All right, so this is the other couple. We put each name, dates of birth, and a petition. The petition doesn't have to be the same one. It can be a different one for each. So in this one, I'll just add the name um, after um, I'm done. With the whole thing so we are going to put uh, ground ch chile okay and I like to use this ground chile um, on all of my breakup and the revenge uh, not so much the revenge but um for the breakup because a lot of people can't tolerate this you know when you get it and if you blow it in the air it makes your eyes water you start sneezing so you want to for their relationship to get uncomfortable okay I am going to use um, dirt from <clears throat> the cemetery. I'm sorry, no, this is dirt from an ant farm. Red ants. You always, always need this. 
If the candle's burning funky, it's because um, it was hot, so it kind the wax kind of melted. But so all of these ingredients, these are essentials that every bruja should have. You can do so much. I did this for a client and she came and picked it up and I told her go throw it at the at the front of her where she works at well bitch got fired about two weeks after so so what the dirt from the ant farm is gonna do it's gonna make them like a desperate you know um, like just desperate to get out of the relationship okay I'm going to use, <clears throat> this is grinded down to a very fine powder from a scorpion. And I love to use just bad stuff. Normally I would use this to fuck someone up on a revenge spell. But granted, these two people did did the person really bad. I think that it's okay to use this because I'm not in favor when someone does you dirty. And as you can see, my ingredients get all over the place. Well, it's okay because I'm protected and I usually do cleansings on myself like afterwards by the way eggs can be used for bad but also to cleanse yourself I know in Mexico it's it's they use it a lot and I do sell this powder as well so I'm going to use black salt because black salt, what it's going to do is it closes people's doors. So I want everything to go bad in this relationship so that it's just a burden to be with one another. Like one's not going to want to be with the other person anymore. It's just going to be too much. <sighs> so what all of this ingredients is going to do to the egg, it's going to... <clears throat> The yolk is what it's going to do. It's going to it's going to rot. By the seventh day, this is going to be so smelly and gross. And I like to um, use different types of eggs depending on the situation. Like for the clients that I have here in San Diego, I use eggs <clears throat> from a black. A black chicken, eggs from a duck. I recently used alligator eggs. So, again, this black salt, I do sell this. And all the matter of fact, all of, all of the, the ingredients that you see. They're all sold. Um, I've been getting a lot of people <clears throat> wanting to buy um, ingredients. So this is another type of salt that I use. This is to, <clears throat> for bad luck. 
also, like I said, we want everything to go bad for this couple. We want them to argue. We want them to fight. If it has to get violent, it has to get violent. Again, everybody is different. There's only been one person that has went to jail. And that's because I did a breakup spell with a revenge spell. And the bastard ended up going to jail. But good, that's what he gets. So my client wasn't even upset because she kind of wanted that. I'm going to use the volcano dirt. Well, what, volcano, volcano ashes. We want this relationship to be abrupt like a volcano and the relationship to just die and just burn and go into ashes. Okay. I'm very limited on the volcano um, ashes, so that one is one that is that is very expensive. cemetery dirt and this isn't to um how I usually say like I like to use cemetery dirt the reason why I use cemetery dirt is because I like the spirits to help me oh I hate this cemetery this cemetery dirt I brought from New Orleans I don't really like it because it's kind of like, because it's always raining over there and it's just, it's kind of muddy, see? But, um, some people get freaked out. They don't want to go to the cemetery. So I end up sen sending a little package, some little cemetery dirt packaged for them. Because we don't just go to any grave. We kind of do like a little ritual. And then we get the cemetery dirt. So yeah, it's more for the spirits of the cemetery to please help us and intercede to break these fuckers up. Okay. Um, use that. I'm going to use um, cigar ashes. So my husband's a big cigar smoker. So I always save the ashes from, from his cigars because that's what we want. We want this, these relationships to go up in flames and straight up turn to ashes. Okay, and then <clears throat> I'm going to use the forget me oil. We want them to forget each other. We want them each one of them to forget about one another. I have to make more. Okay, and this is my uh, my seven chili destruction oil. 
As you can see, it's red. There's a pepper in there. We want just to speed, speed it up, so we're putting rush oil on it. And my thing is destruction oil. Top it off. I'm not going to do that one because I want to put the name in there. Okay. Now I do work with pictures. Um, so these will have pictures. Um, no, these aren't just any candles. These are candles made from the um, the fat of a pig, so they burn a lot better. And what I'm going to do with this candle is basically I'm going to um, just fill it up, and this is going to... Um, I'm going to cover it all up. So it's going to seal the egg. It's going to seal the egg. Oops. And that's what we want. This is what's going to take forever to do. Some of the black salt is going to close the doors. The um, cemetery door is for the spirits to help us. The chili, the um, the ant farm. This isn't really for the ant farm. Um, dirt is just going to make them like desperate to just get away from each other, and. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to work on this for seven days, and um, each egg is going to have its own candle. I don't think this is burning that good. Let's see this one. This is going to take a while, so um, so you guys know who this who this spell is for. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay.